Hello sweetie pies, it is Lady Maylene and I'm here with a review of my Kana cosplay. So I will be cosplaying Kana this weekend at Sabacon. I am beyond excited. This is a character I've been wanting to do super duper duper bad. I think she's one of the cutest characters ever. I was going to make it myself since I do make most of my cosplay myself, but I saw it for cheap online. I thought, hey, let's just buy it and see how it is. So I'm going to show you guys the whole cosplay. I'm going to leave links below if you guys want a cosplay like this. I think cosplay is one of the things that needs the most reviews because it's really hard to tell what the quality actually is going to be like or what it's actually going to look like. And I really hope this is helpful to someone. I hope you guys enjoy and please don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And let me know if you're working on any cosplay or have just bought a cosplay. I would love to know. Alright, so I did buy all of this on Taobao, but I know the store that does the actual cosplay does have both an eBay and an AliExpress, so I'm going to link it down below. Alright guys, so let me show you the pieces. So, this is the top that it comes with. It is like a very frilly kind of dressy top. It's, um, some people think her dress is like an actual dress and some people think it's a dress, I mean a shirt and a skirt. I'm not actually sure what she's actually wearing, um, but this one does come with a top and a skirt. The skirt is, I mean the top is very, very big over here. I did end up ordering a medium because I went by the size chart and I'm not sure if I should have gone a large. I am normally a US size medium. I will be trying this on so you guys can see, but the top is very good quality. I really like these cute little like frills over here. The top does have like the little ruffle and then it has some of the buttons. I think her buttons go all the way up, but you can't really see it with the little capelet. And then here is the skirt from right here. The skirt fits me perfectly, but look how short this thing is. It's ridiculously short. I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna end up wearing this or making my own because I really don't want to have to do this to the bottom. I really like how it's like scalloped. I love that. But I mean man, this thing is so short. Like crazy short. And then it comes with the little cape which is my favorite part of the cosplay because it's so soft. Ooh! Like this thing is so soft. I've seen other cosplays that make it that don't make it at, with a soft material. It's just like fabric. So I really like that this ended up being like flippy. And then this part right here is also super duper soft. So I'm really happy with this. Oh, and here is the name of the store. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Uwowu or something like that. <laughs> And then it has ruffles over here, and then it has this mole stain that I got on it. Oops. So I will be trying it on in a little bit for you guys so you guys can see how it looks. But I'm going to keep going with the accessories because it, you could choose just the cosplay or a cosplay with accessories, which I liked. Okay, so this is the uh, horns that came from this side, and uh, I hate them. <laughs> I think they're so ugly and horrible and I'm not going to keep this at all. I'm not sure if somebody would want to buy these or I'm going to throw them away. I think they're really bad and I do not like these at all. And then it also came with the socks, which is pretty awesome. They are kind of short, but I think they should work. It has a little ruffle on the top. And then the accessory pack also came with the little balls that go in her hair. They look really nice. I was actually going to make them myself. I wasn't sure if I was going to order them. But they were dirt cheap. They have this little hole here so you can put them in the hair. And I really like it. Like, it looks so neat. I've seen some of them where they look like plastic that was painted and you can tell the paint's ribbon off. The other thing I don't like is that I don't like this in the middle. I think it would have been better if they cut it up here and up here. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but they are quite nice. I'm just not sure how I'm going to get them in the hair because it doesn't come with anything to put them in. You have to like put them in and I don't want it to be like messy, but I love these. I think these are really, really nice and they are way better than what I could have made. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this is the tail that it came with. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this looks really bad. It does kind of look like her tail. It's like, you know, it has all these little pointy thingies. And then this thing is super sticky. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it has like little hairs. It's just everything sticks to it. I'm not sure why. And then it has this. I actually ordered two pairs of accessories because I was not happy with the horns. So I'm not actually sure what, what everything came from. I will leave everything down below. Links so you guys can see exactly where they came from. Because I got another one of the tails. They look very, very different. I think it's interesting how different they look. I feel like this is more accurate, but it's kind of 
bad. So I think I'm going to go with this one. I think this is kind of cute. Hopefully it'll look okay. And then look how it's so bendy. Woohoo! Watch me go. And then these are the horns that came with the other pack. I think these are much nicer. They actually look really cute. I'm not, I think I'm going to change the bow so I can make it a little bit bigger because I thought that would look cute. But these are very nice and they're soft and they don't look bad. I think they were really cute. And the last thing I bought, of course, is the wig. I was looking for a wig that was lavender to, like, dark purple because I really feel... I, her hair is lavender that goes to dark purple, but for some reason, all over the internet, like, um, all the wigs are white to purple. I don't know why. And I looked everywhere for a lavender one, and this was... In the picture, this was lavender. This does look white, but it's not, like, a white-white. I'm not sure how it's coming off on camera. If it does kind of look lavender, honestly, and white at the same time, but I like how it's a mix. It is a pretty thin, but it's not bad. And it is a little bit shiny, but I can fix that. And But I really like the little pigtails. I think they look really cute. I could definitely work with this, and I think this was like $8, so yeah, that's a steal. So I'm going to try some of these items on for you guys so you guys can see kind of how it looks like on and a little bit of about the cosplay. So this is kind of what the wig looks like on. I'm sorry if it's not on correctly. I'm just like putting it on a muffler. But with the little horns, I think it's cute. I definitely think it will work well. I like the way it's cut. I like this part. And I like the way the, the thingies are tied, the little pigtails. So here is a little bit closer up. I'm definitely going to fix the shine because I don't like that it's shiny at all. I just got to figure out how to get these things in here without making it too messy. If you guys know, let me know. Alright guys, so I put the camera as back as I could so I could show you guys like the full outfit. I'm going to show you guys a little bit from the top. I think this top is really, really, really cute. This is definitely my favorite part of the cosplay. It's really soft. I think it looks really well made and I love it. I'm definitely a fan of these horns. I wasn't sure how I was going to make these so I'm happy I found some decent ones. And I hope you guys can see because I'm not wearing my glasses and I cannot see from here. But the sleeves are kind of short, which is perfectly fine. That doesn't bother me at all. The top is really, 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 big, really big. I guess it was supposed to be like a dress. I'm guessing I'm just a little too tall because I feel like these should have been closer together. I'm not sure if you know what I mean because um, I think this looks a little bit awkward. I am definitely going to be taking in a little bit. I just think this is way too big. And if you guys can see, if I don't wear this, I think this top looks silly on me. <laughs> because I think my top <laughs> part makes it look kind of weird, I guess. But that's fine because this thing covers it and I think it's really cute. And the skirt, again, is extremely short. I am super duper excited about the tights, though. They are actually quite long, which is a surprise. I didn't think they were going to go this high. I, did, I wanted thigh high, so I'm glad they do go up that high. This is the cosplay, like, put on right after, like, taking it out of the bag. I definitely think this cosplay really needs a little petticoat, so I'm going to go ahead and put one on so you guys can see how that looks. So this is it after I put a little petticoat. I think it definitely looks a lot better. I really like it. I still think it's a little bit short. But I think I can make it work. And if I just take in a little tiny bit from this top, I think it'll be very, very, very cute. I am super duper duper happy with this cosplay. I think it ended up being really nice. And I was going to spend about the same amount I spent on this on the material. So I'm glad I could find a cosplay that was cheap that actually worked out. So in the end, I do recommend this cosplay. This cosplay on Taobao was about $34, which is ridiculous. The wig was about $8, and then the, the pack with this and the... I think it was the hair thing was about, like, another $8. I know the one for the actual cosplay has, again, an AliExpress and an eBay store. I'll link it down below. I think it's about $20 more on there. If you guys want to buy it on Taobao, you're still going to have to pay shipping and, um... And then there's the price for the agent, so it might actually end up being about the same, but I still think like about $60 or $70 for a decent, nice cosplay is really cheap. I can't wait to show you guys how this end ends out. I'm definitely going to do much better makeup than this and then fix it up a little tiny bit so it'll look better. And I'll show you guys pictures if you want to see pictures of my kana completed. They'll be on my Facebook. It is Lady Maylene, just like on here. 
Oh, the only complaint I do have is that I feel like this is the top is too big on the bottom, a little too small on the top, and the skirt is too short, but it fits my waist. So if I had gone a size up, I feel like it would have been even bigger, which I would have taken it a lot. My waist, the, the uh, skirt might not have fit my waist, but it would have been longer. So the sizing, I just say, go ahead and check the size chart. I think it was pretty good. It's just a little short. I really hope this helps somebody out, and I hope you guys enjoy my video. Please don't forget to subscribe again if you have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video.